dark at the moment. Um, but it's now 6.25 on Wednesday morning and I'm on my way to Alton Park. Um, the weather's a bit gloomy. I'm driven through torrential rain to get here. Um, I think I left at about quarter to five. So it's an early start today. Um, it's about two hours from me, so it's not too bad. Um, got to get there just before seven for sign on. Not sure what time briefing is yet, but about eight o'clock, I'd imagine, half eight, I'm not sure yet. Um, but yeah, I'm on my way, like I said, I'm on my way to Alton Park. I haven't ridden the track before. I'm a little bit nervous, I'm not going to lie. Um, it's a very technical, I've been told, sorry, it's a very technical track. And I've been told to expect a kind of a mix between um, Donington for its kind of fast sweeping bends and Cadwell for its tight kind of technical corners and chicane and things like that. So, um, yeah, I'm a bit nervous. Um, as, as you can see, I'm driving, so I'm not on the R1 today. Um, I'm actually taking out the Superbike School's V4S, I believe. Um, so yeah, totally new bike to me, new track. So like I said, I'm nervous. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to riding the Ducati. I mean, like I said, I've ridden the, uh, what was it? The 959 back in April. Sorry, I need to check where I'm going straight over. Yeah, so I've ridden the 959 back in April and that was on the level one of the Superbike School, um, which as you saw in my previous vlog, I really enjoy the day. I learned an awful lot. They broke down all the, oh God, <laughs> they broke down all the um, individual aspects of cornering. Can you see my air freshener in the way? <laughs> um, and each, each session, we focus on a different drill. So the combined sessions at the end was focusing on everything together. And yeah, I really noticed like a, a big difference in my riding and my approach and braking and body position and everything like that so that was really beneficial but today it's not actually a school day um, it's the the Bennett's insurance Bennett's their track day so they've invited me and like I said I'm taking the V4S out I'm really looking forward to riding the bike it's I think what is it 211 horsepower so it's way more than mine um, obviously it's V4 so I'm kind of kind of used to that kind of engine characteristics. I guess the cross plane's kind of similar. I mean, they sound great, I know that. Um, but when I was 17, I had the uh, Honda's VFR 400 NC30. And, oh, my camera's going down with these speed bumps. Um, yeah, sorry, so I had the V4 uh, NC30, and that was a little 400. and. That was great fun. I mean, that was like my first proper bike after I passed my test. And I think I was 17 and it was in Repsol colours and it, it looked so cool. Um, and obviously it had a little stubby exhaust on it because that was when it was really cool to be as loud as you could. I mean, I mean, it's still pretty cool anyway, but yeah. So it sounded bloody awesome. The engine braking on it was great. It was really, really light and nimble bike. So I'm hoping kind of some of that will pass through to the new V4 now. Um, I think they said when it when they first launched it, it was like the most powerful um, advanced road bike, a production bike or something like that. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing what that's got to offer. Um, I'm a bit nervous because like I said, it's a new track and new bike and I'm an Inters group. So I'm sure my first few sessions will be taking it steady, you know, getting used to the track. I always find my first session I don't really enjoy too much because I'm, think, I'm overthinking about the track. I don't know where I'm going. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I'm sure by a couple of sessions I would have got a feel for it. I understood the track a little bit more, learned the line. I'll probably get an instructor to go out with me and um, help show me the line so I can kind of make sure I'm, I'm kind of correct from the get-go. Um, the instructors with the Superbike School are brilliant. Um, I learned an awful lot going out with them last time when I was at Bedford and I'm hoping obviously to do it again today. I will definitely need them. So yeah, I'm really excited. It's saying now I will be there in 26 minutes provided traffic's all good. I've tried to stay away from the M6 because there was a huge accident on it yesterday and I didn't want to be caught up in that. So yeah, 
I'll be there at five to seven. I think sign on's at seven. So we're all in good time. I'm meeting Zoe and Chaz as well, because they're Chaz. So yeah, it's gonna be a really good day. So I'll catch up with you when we get there. Bye. Okay, you saw that massive puddle? Yeah. That's the weather we're turning up to Alton Park in. Pretty fucking grim. It wasn't even forecasted to rain at this time in the morning, so I'm a bit, a bit sad that it is. Um, I don't know if it's gonna break. The sky looks a bit, well, you can't really, I can't focus on it, but it looks a bit gloomy. Um, yeah, it said it was gonna rain later on this afternoon, not now. So I've just gotta pray that it stops, but there's gonna be a lot of surface water on the track, which sucks. Just about to go to briefing. I'm all, you can't even see me. I'm all um, signed on. The sky is looking blue and it's starting to get sunny. So I'm hoping we have a good day. So, yeah, just about to go to briefing now. it's still quite wet there's a lot of surface water the main um, racing line is kind of starting to dry up half the track's good so it tricks you into thinking that it's dry and then the other side under the trees I don't know the names of all the corners yet but the other side is pretty wet still um, work, I'm liking so far um, the track's got a lot of variance in it it's got some nice uh, undulations it's got a couple of blind corners um, a couple of nice chicanes uh, yeah, I'm liking it. There's a big kind of, it's not a hairpin, but big banked hairpin at the back end of the track. That's pretty interesting. I haven't taken a bike at that kind of angle. It's quite steep when you're coming up to it. Um, the V4 so far is brilliant. Really, really loving it. Obviously, I've had it in wet mode um, today just to get used to it. Um, it's really good. Like, you wouldn't know you're riding a V4, but like a well, 211 horsepower V4. Obviously, it's 
is um, toned down at the moment, but so far so good. Um, the riding position on it is quite a bit different to my old one. It's quite a bit more upright, which I was surprised about. And uh, yeah, it's kind of like you sit upright with your feet are more kind of lower than how uh, they are. So we've just done second session and it was a lot lot better. The track's now dry, there's a few little wet patches but nothing too bad. Um, obviously I'm not on warmers or anything so we're having to take the first kind of three laps quite steady. Uh, we've just started to get some heat in the tyres and feeling, like, getting a really good feeling for the bike and then they got red flagged. So I think someone high sided after one of the chicanes, I'm not sure where, I didn't see it. So that was a bummer, that, that ended that session, but hopefully next time I'll put a camera on and we'll hopefully get some good footage. session it was spitting as we first came out and I thought oh no we're, we're, we, can, we can deal with this it's okay and then the heavens opened and it was that really fine wet rain that kind of soaks everything um, I have my cameras just balanced on the dash at the moment because my sucky caption thing doesn't work um, but yeah we got it, it was too wet really and I have already done a wet trap day before and I don't really enjoy it and I'm on a bike that I don't particularly want to break. So we came in after, I think it was a lap. I think the majority of the session did as well. Um, but no, overall, the day was really, really good. I really enjoyed riding the V4S. Um, it's loads and loads of low down torque. Um, it's really light and nimble to kind of throw around in the corners. 
the brakes are really sharp. I was actually really impressed with the brakes. Um, probably, well, a lot better than my R1 actually, which is quite surprising. Well, the R1s are renowned for not being that good. Um, but these in particular were actually very good. I had a couple of times where I had to brake quite hard and I was actually really impressed that I stopped quite, quite well. So yeah, that was good. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to really ride it in race mode. The first couple of sessions I had it in wet because it was wet a wet track when we first started. And then the other sessions were in uh, sport, I think. Um, I'm not sure what horsepower it lets you, it is in sport or whatever, but it was still, you know, quick enough. Um, really, really enjoyed it. There's still enough, definitely enough grunt to give you some good overtakes and um, get some speed up the kind of not so ish straights. But yeah, really, really enjoyed the bike. The track is awesome. Loved it. I really want to take the R1 there now. Um, like I said this morning, the whole mix between Donny for like the long sweeping corners, fast corners, and the tight technical stuff of Cadwell, like it's literally bang on. It, it is the two mixed together more or less. Um, I definitely got braver as the day went on and was overtaking a lot more and felt a lot more confident to overtake as well, which is good. So yeah, overall I had a really, really good yeah, day. The track day was run really, really well. Um, we're all on schedule, nothing, nothing drastic happened. Um, it was obviously a Bennett's day, so it was open to all uh, Bennett's customers. They had a good price on it, or non-customers for, I think it was a little bit more, I'm not sure how much now, but it was a good track day. It was run by the Superbike School. Um, so they had all their instructors there and their hire bikes if you wanted to take out one of theirs if you want to ride a ducati it's a great opportunity to um the instructors are out with you every session so if you want any, any tuition you go and speak to them and they'll come out and ride one-to-one -one with you which is really really good they'll um sit behind you for a little bit and then they'll they'll overtake and tell you to copy what they're doing or vice versa so really really that's a really really beneficial um, part of their Superbike School track days, or cornering schools as they call them, but this particular day was a track day, so it was less of the school side of things, but they were there if you needed them, which was a really, really good mix of the two. Um, so yeah, overall, I had a really, really good day, and I'm looking forward to seeing the footage and the photos so yeah thank you very much california superbike school for the v4s that was outstanding um i still want to ride it properly in race mode i didn't get a chance to do that because our last session was rained off unfortunately so i'll have to do that again at some point um but yeah thank you very much for the bike car i really loved it thank you for all the tuition and all your help and thank you very much uh i can't speak thank you very much bennett for inviting on the day and organizing such a great track day Bye.